Mississippi West, the diversion of the Mississippi. The project would divert the Mississippi here at the Yellow Arrow, then across the arid Southwest to Columbus, New Mexico, and then on to California. Mississippi West to provide flood control and prevention, irrigation for all the new agricultural farms, hydroelectric power, solar farms, bridges and lakes, fire prevention and control and suppression, and the filling of the aquifers. The approximate distance from the Mississippi to the Pacific Ocean is 1,800 miles. The red line in this illustration is the Continental Divide and water flows either right, which is east, or left, which is west of this line. Problem. Drought. Fact. The Southwest United States, which includes Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and California, have an ongoing drought problem that is getting worse year by year. Problem pollution. Fact. The Mississippi River is polluted with runoff from farms that surround it and has large amounts of dissolved fertilizer and pesticides in its water. Problem. Growing dead zones at the mouth of the Mississippi as it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. Fact. The fertilizer present in the river water is consumed by algae and creates massive algae blooms which consume virtually all the oxygen present in the water, making it impossible for fish and other life to survive this environment. Problem. Flooding. Fact. The Mississippi River floods on a regular basis, causing billions of dollars in damage in areas that surround it. This is the Mississippi Basin. 1.2 million square miles. This maze of large rivers all converge into the Mississippi River, allowing wide area flooding on a regular basis. This USGS animation shows the sources of the Mississippi River. The discharge of the Mississippi River at New Orleans is 4.4 million gallons per second, which equates to 41% of all U.S water runoff. Problem. The United States government is liable for flood damage. Flood insurance is a government-backed program and whenever there's a flooding event in the Mississippi River Basin, the U.S. government pays out billions of dollars in claims. Mississippi West would avoid these massive payouts and damage by diverting the excess water of the Mississippi to the arid southwest states. Problem. Unused construction capacity and underemployment. Fact. The United States has large amounts of construction capacity and the skilled workers that would flock to high paying infrastructure employment on a national public works project of this size and scale. Problem. Extremely low levels of fresh drinking water in U.S. aquifers. Mississippi West targets the worst drought areas in the United States. Solution. Divert part of the Mississippi below the winter freeze line and send it west. The ideal diversion point for the project would be past the major cities that lie on the Mississippi, but below the winter freeze zone for ease of water flow. We believe this would be somewhere in the state of Arkansas. Due west are all the states that are most in need of drinkable water. Low altitude mountains in New Mexico at the Continental Divide are the only real terrain features that would dramatically increase construction complexity and cost. Columbus, New Mexico at latitude north 31 81250 
and Longitude West 107 64002 would be an excellent crossing point. It's at 4,000 feet and along an old train line. The remaining route of Mississippi West to California would roughly follow the U.S.-Mexican border. Mississippi West would be America's newest river and run right next to the border from New Mexico to California. Solution. Use Mississippi West water to make the Southwest deserts into the largest farmlands in the world. Solution. The water from the Mississippi River already contains fertilizer. Perfect for farming. Solution. The Mississippi River water can be filtered and used to refill the aquifers. Solution. Hydroelectric facilities can be pre-built along Mississippi West's route. Solution. Sandy desert soil is nearly ideal for growing plants. Just add water. Benefit. Potential resort areas at the artificial lake locations. Benefit. Use of clay to fill in levees. Clay, taken from the excavations from the construction of Mississippi West, would be loaded onto barges and taken back to the diversion point in Arkansas, then south to New Orleans for levee and barrier island construction. Benefit. Refill Lake Mead near Las Vegas to allow for full Hoover Dam power generation. Electricity needed for irrigation would be generated by solar and wind. Benefit, water for fire season. What we propose. Using the precedent of FDR's public works projects, CCC, WPA, TVA, Mississippi West would fundamentally improve American infrastructure and stop most flooding, droughts, and lack of drinking water issues in the greater Southwest United States, including California. JFK and NASA. Using the precedent of JFK's public works project, which was landing a man on the surface of the moon by the end of the decade, the space agency NASA presented Americans with an exciting vision of exploration and a display of U.S. technology. Mississippi West offers the U.S. and the world the opportunity of water-based, region-changing technology. First step is an executive order and then a feasibility study by the Army Corps of Engineers to assess the cost and benefits and time needed to complete Mississippi West. An environmental impact study will have to confirm the tenets of this project, which are flood prevention, fire prevention and control, the filling of the aquifers, and agricultural development with irrigation. So what steps would have to be taken by the U.S. government to start on a project of this magnitude? First, there'd have to be an executive order from the president, and then Congress would have to vote on funding. Then there'd have to be an assessment of the report of the Army Corps of Engineers. A review of whatever laws would have to be made or modified to make it so. There would have to be water rights resolution, and then what to do with 1,800 miles of waterfront property, where to put the lakes, where to put the bridges, where to put the hydroelectric facilities, and the agreements around that, and then the setup of the diversion points for fire prevention. The best example in Africa is the Nile River, which flows north from the equator to the Mediterranean Sea. This would benefit millions and allow farming in parts of the Sahara Desert. Mississippi West, the diversion of the Mississippi.